And now back to Open Mic Friday with Mike Spence and Butter. Welcome back on Open Mic Friday, part two. I'm sorry, Robert, you probably have butterous hair inside your water. I got it in my mouth. I think. Oh, yeah, you can just shake it all off. That'll there. be fine. I'll yeah. lunch. Yeah. She came on, just took a nap, but normally there's a big fur ball around here. I appreciate your <laughs> indulgence. Uh, we want to talk, you know, take the time to talk about the Italian picnic, which is one of my favorite events of the year, and it's coming up next weekend on June 1st. It's May 31st through June 2nd, so there are three three nights. Three nights, uh -huh. and that uh, that three first days. night, it, it's great because it does start on Friday, and that's really where kids, all the rides are half price. There's no entry fee, free parking. I mean, it's a great event uh, for families to go out to. Normally, you know, yeah, they, I buy those wheels of tickets, and before you know it, I've spent fifty dollars, and I'm yeah. always, you know, Dad, the bank of Dad closed. You know, I want to wear that T-shirt. Yeah, so and it's free entrance, sure, and uh, that's new. Uh, uh, the free parking is new. Uh, we, we used to charge a little bit, but uh, we try to change things a little bit, see if that makes a difference right. on uh, difference. on people coming, and uh, we want everybody to experience that. So, well, I know that the kids uh, that Friday night. Uh, every time I go by. You know, the kid thing, everybody in the car, I'm always going, bocce for a buck, because we did the commercial for <clears throat> the picnic, and, you know, the bocce for a buck, bocce for a buck. I, I just love that saying for some reason. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Bocce for a buck. Uh, but the uh, you can actually take bocce lessons yeah. uh, up there during the... Yeah, they'll help you. and uh, Yeah, well, I need the help, so... Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's, there's a lot of little tricks it's to it. It's a lagging game, and yeah. so it's... Uh, yeah. it's well, whatever I'm doing, I've done it my whole life. Yeah, and and those bocce ball courts right. are actually professional. They're actually champion. Uh, they've been built to uh, the specs for the, uh, if you want to have an actual tournament, a, a national tournament, actually. Right, that's fun. Yeah, that's a not, great sport. Uh, so they got the right tilt, and they got the right width and the length. Uh, well, you have to. Uh, they just built some new bocce courts out at one of the wineries at um, Serafina, the one that's on the west end, way out as you go out La Trobe Road. It's all by itself. Oh, you know that? Sure, yeah. And I think the owner, Paul, you know, he said, oh, you know, I like to build some bocce ball courts, but he didn't realize how expensive they would be because you, you really have to get them. Uh, yeah, they got to be. I think ninety right. feet long and right. so wide and, and perfectly then, level. And, and then they I used think, to use. Uh, uh, well, they used to use oyster shells years ago. Oh, yeah. They yeah. had a little white crushed, crushed yeah. shell. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, I grew up at Fort Funston uh, in San Francisco. They, all the guys, my grandfather used to play bocce. And, uh, but bocce is a big part of the picnic. But they're, um, you know, why don't you tell us more about the history of the picnic? How did it become such a great event in an Italian picnic? Uh, yeah, and, uh, you know, of course, Amador County is full of history. You know, every time you uh, think about Amador County, you think about history, and uh, the more you read about it, the more you know you don't know. But uh, right, my just just as far as, of course, I'm of Italian descent, obviously. But uh, and I've belonged to the Italians since, since 1972, I think it is. Uh, I was looking at my card the other day, and uh, my father did. But uh, my grandfather, uh, my father was telling me, who recently passed away a few years ago, but he said my grandfather also belonged. And, uh, oh. He came from. Uh, Italy, of course, and uh, for work, and he was a f he, he lived in uh, Bunker Hill, which is right over the hill from Amador City. Everybody knows, um, not everybody knows about, but that's called Bunker Hill, and that's where the Bunker Hill mine was. So uh, he lived maybe um, 500 yards from the mine and went up there and worked underneath the ground. Oh, uh, he was he went down, and uh, my father said one time he was been there for in those days. Yeah, yeah, they're tougher than nails, those guys, and. Uh, and my father was telling me, my grandfather's, uh, he's been there a long time. They says, well, why don't you, you know, instead of working down deep, we'll come up on top, I'll give you a nice job, it won't be so hard on you. And so he was up there for not very long and said, no, I want to go back down. And yeah. so it's, I guess it gets in their blood. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I've was, gone through the cemeteries and I've seen all the yeah. Italian names. They have a section there of all the accidents and things. Yeah. And so the reason I was mentioning Amador City and Bunker Hill, that's actually where the, uh, the Italian society was formed in 1881. Mm -hmm. And uh, they never had. They had a building that uh, that they used, um, and it was up by the schoolhouse. And, and I can't tell exactly which building was, but uh, I haven't researched that yet. But it's right up behind the old schoolhouse, It'd be the back road to Bunker Hill. It's uh, right behind the main town, but uh, right behind the Imperial. Oh yeah. yeah uh huh. Yeah. Have and uh, so they were there for 50 years, um, according to my uh, research, and. Uh, 
In fact, uh, Phil Gerlani, uh, the Italian society, now wants Phil to be the historian up there and uh, bring some of those, uh, bring all the stuff together instead of just conversations. And so Phil, and everybody knows Phil. Oh, Phil, great person for that. Yeah, yeah. and uh, he's he's worked on the museum project mm -hmm. and still is. Which is about, Phil came on the show, uh, okay. open mic, and yeah, uh, it's so. about to reopen uh, coming up here in another week or two. They're just about finished. And so history is uh, his <clears throat> beans, you know, and so... Uh, but yeah, back in 1881, and uh, it wasn't until May of 82 that they actually had the parade and the picnic. Mm, okay. And the parade started in Amateur City, which it would. It went up the, well, it didn't go up the 49. There was no 49 in 1881. Right, right. And everybody Cattle, knows, Cattle if, you, <laughs> if, you, if you go up a little bit farther out of Amateur City today, you, there's a left turn up there called String, in a String Bean Alley. Yeah. I'm not sure. I think the name is still there. Yeah. And that's the, the road that goes to the, the mine they're trying to open. Oh, right, right. Uh -huh. And so it went up there, the parade, and uh, they went up the hill there. And uh, there was a, a person named the Werners, and they evidently had a pasture out there. And that's where they went up to the pasture and, uh, and had the uh, picnic. That's where and, it all started. Uh, yeah. That. And uh, we, we think about the Italians uh, thinking maybe it was just a social event. Well, actually, it was, a, it was to celebrate their, uh, the Italian um, constitution. Hmm. Not it wasn't really it was more political than it was because they they've come they came from Italy and uh, they were still had their heritage really sure. strong of course mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. so and as it grew we became more it became more social but uh, they had the um, that uh, benevolent part of them and everybody that uh, joined actually in, in those days and. and uh, you, you would get a hundred dollars if uh, well I grew a little bit but if, if you died that's one of the things you got right, was a right. hundred dollars mm -hmm. uh, the widow did to uh, mm -hmm. help mm -hmm. out uh, the means and uh, everybody right. paid right. a little bit and so back in 1881 they uh, 82 when they start started it they'd come back to town and evidently had a big gala a dance and a ball uh, that night it only lasted one day uh, the, and uh, it did that for 13 years one big long party out the whole thing yeah, 13 one day. years in the same in the same oh, uh, wow. in the same lot or the same piece of pasture hmm. uh, of course there's no trees or no uh, no buildings or anything and I, and I believe I kind of know where it is but anyway and then they did that for 13 years still meeting in Amateur City I never left Amateur City for 50 years but then they uh, they started having the parade in Sutter Creek and they uh, they went to uh, in Sutter Creek, uh, right about Midtown, and then they would uh, get on. The, they had the Grand Marshal, who was on a horse, and he would, uh, according to my history books, he would he would ride all the way up uh, Sutter Hill on the old road because they didn't have the new one, of course. And mm -hmm. uh, they would go and, and they started using a, a spot over by Martell, a field. And then they did that for years and years, but so they take the, they take it all the way up and into Martell and have the picnic up there. Over there. Yeah, yeah they yeah. didn't have any buildings yet, so, right, so right they just <laughs> so they just had the, that the gala, event. and that was yeah. good. you know in those days everybody didn't have a lot of things to do, and so that was a big thing and to keep the families together, and they all had that same interest, and so as it grew and grew, and uh, 19, uh, 1913, they um, they bought the uh, property they are in today. So uh, and then they then they started using that. And that was so, still pretty early on, 1913. Yeah, yeah. 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 So it, it it gradually, but you can see they uh, never stopped, and so it's been around a long time. And the the parade is uh, in, in June, and it's still in June. So we uh, that's well, why we celebrate only, you know, June because June was it. So not only the Italian picnic, uh, you know, it's being used for a lot of other Amador County sure. functions and, yeah. and a great great resource for our county. And we're about out of time. That was very insightful, uh, Robert. Thanks so much for sharing that. Yeah. And uh, you know, people don't really always learn about the history. I love that area outside of Amador City. And driving back in there uh, with all the mines and everything. Yeah. But we want to talk further. Have you back on the show and maybe learn a little bit more. But okay. I want to thank everybody for watching today, and uh, I appreciate you coming on the show. Okay. Very right. good. Thank you, Robert. Okay. For decades.